Federal health officials indicated today they're not yet quite ready to say that the H1N1 flu pandemic is over. But they do say it's on its last legs. The Centers for Disease Control announced today that for the fourth week in a row, no state has widespread H1N1 activity. The number of cases nationwide have fallen since late October. And the CDC says since the virus has shown so far no signs of mutating, it doesn't believe there will be another wave of cases later this year. As for health departments in our area, they seem to agree the situation is improving. But as Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus explains tonight, two area counties we checked with today say it's still not gone. As new numbers from the Centers for Disease Control show the second wave of the H1N1 virus has leveled off. Staff at the Winnebago County Health Department are savoring a rare moment to catch their breath. It did take over throughout the months of October, November, December as we geared up to do mass clinic planning, you know, um, geared up to do clinics within the schools. Nurse coordinator Cindy Draw says the department plans for pandemics, but H1N1 forced public health workers to move fast and reach many. Draw says recent numbers have been encouraging in Winnebago. Actually, what we've noticed is that there's been no activity of H1N1 going on, which is very, very nice. The county has also seen few people visiting the doctor with flu-like symptoms. Draw says there are respiratory viruses going around, but seasonal flu rates are lower than expected. Outagamie County is also reporting improvement. Since uh, January 3rd and up until February 2nd, we've had no uh, confirmed or probable cases in the county. Or hospitalizations and deaths. Still, health officers continue to encourage vaccination. They say the vaccine takes two weeks to mount an immune response that will fight off the virus. So it's best to vaccinate when flu activity is low. Draw says Winnebago County has given more than 29,000 doses of vaccine. The county has a population of around 160,000, meaning about 18 percent have been vaccinated. That's just under the national rate of 23 percent. Draw says we can't assume H1N1 is over. Historically, flu pandemics have had three waves. That potential still exists here. We're right in that time frame. Lindsay Veramis, Fox 11 News. Both counties in Lindsay's story also say the H1N1 vaccine has caused no major problems. Health workers have said that children under the age of 10 who have been vaccinated should get a second dose.